Hey guys, Darla again and my hillbilly roots. So let's get to it. That's so hillbilly ish. Now I wanted to talk a little bit about my hillbilly. Got a little wig hair on my arm. But my hillbilly roots. I was born in Indiana, and my ancestors were also born and died in Indiana. In fact, you have to go probably about 200 plus years to take us out of Indiana. And from there, we're all the way back to the 13 colonies on both sides of my family, my mom and my dad. So after that, you go overseas and it's England and Scotland. Now my maiden name, my father's name, is an English name and my mother's maiden name is a Scottish name. And ironically, I went to Scotland the first time. On the west coast of Scotland is Ayers and in Ayers is a little village called Alloway, my mom's maiden name. You go to the other coast, the east coast, and there is an English town in Scotland called Edinburgh. I may not be saying them right. And a major street in Edinburgh is Mayfield Road, and there's also Mayfield Village. So it's kind of ironic. I got Alloway and Mayfield both there in Scotland, and eventually they both came to America, and here I am. My research has taken me to Germany, Holland, and Switzerland. So that's a pretty fair-skinned group of people. My mom, she always said we were Scottish, Irish, Indian, and Dutch. And she would always say Black Dutch. So she got the Scottish right. The Irish is kind of, mm, because some of the Scottish families were born in Scotland and for some reason ended up going to Ireland for political or religious reasons or whatever the reason was. And they had their children in Ireland. The parents were still Scottish. I haven't found like a true blood Irish in the family tree. It's mostly Scottish. And on the Mayfield side, all the Mayfield men seem to marry Scottish women. I feel that's my, my line is Scottish and English. But what's this got to do with the uh, hillbilly connection or a hillbilly line? You know, I grew up very poor and I used to always claim that we were hillbillies. My mom would get so upset when I would say that. I've got the definition of hillbillies here. People that live in the country and is thought to be stupid by the people that live in the towns. That's all hillbilly is. Kind of, it's kind of ironic or crazy, but that's our society. So I always claimed that we were hillbilly. And, you know, when somebody did something in our family, we'd say, oh, that, that's so hillbilly-ish, you know? I use the terminology a lot. My family does too. Now, not just running around barefooted did I associate being a hillbilly. I mean, a lot of stuff we did, uh, we would go swimming in the lake and you know, before we came home, we would wash our hair and kind of take a bath in the lake before we came home. To me, that was hillbilly-ish. We only took a bath once a week. That was on Saturday night to get ready for church on Sunday. We only washed our hair once a week. I'm still in the practice, I only wash my hair once a week, unless I sweat a lot, which is a lot lately. And now that I have it short, I can, you know, pretty much wash it as much as I want, but I usually don't. 
those are some of the traits that I associate with being a hillbilly. <laughs> but it was also the lingo. Now, one of the words that comes to mind for me is wash. You know, like, whose turn is it to wash the dishes? I, I got made fun of that a lot. Even my niece today, she'll say, uh, Auntie, what road is the baseball field on? I'd say, well, you go down Washington. And of course she would burst out laughing because I said Wash, Washington, instead of Washington. You know, I can say Wash, but I have to think about it. Those are just some of the words. Uh, I know my mom would say for hair brush, she would say hey, hair brush or cash was kish. When I say roots or root or route, instead of route, it's a root. <laughs> so I have a lot of uh, lingo like that that I associated with being a hillbilly. But it wasn't till I went to Scotland my first time that I actually realized that the Scottish people have that lingo that whoosh or brush or whoosh, you know, kind of sounding to their words. And I realized that my mom, her, her dad is Scottish. He's like six generations from Scotland. And I'm sure he had the Scottish lingos that he used throughout his life that he inherited from his parents and they inherited from their parents. And I'm sure over time he added lingo from the area he was at also. All this time I would say we talk like hillbillies and it was really a Scottish language that we were associated with, I think. It's really interesting when you look into your family tree. All these years I, well I still say we're hillbilly, you know. That's really how I refer to myself a lot of times. But a lot of people that looked at me thought I was something else. I've been mistaken for Italian, Puerto Rican, Mexican, German. Uh, people think I'm from New York. They say I have a heavy accent. You know, I'm darker complected than my ancestors that came from the North. My dad was darker complected. He tanned very easily in the sun. In fact, he would tan so good that, you know, so dark, I should say, that a lot of people, when he was out in the field, thought he was <clears throat> African-American. They were like, what? You know, because he, he was, he'd get so dark. I inherited that from my dad too. I get tanned even in the shade. And that's something I have to research because my DNA doesn't really show uh, a group of people with darker skin in my DNA. So, you know, it makes me wonder where I got it. But it brings me back to what my mom said. We were Scottish, Irish, Native American, I haven't proved that yet, and Dutch. Black Dutch. Black Dutch is a terminology to refer to offsprings from when the Spanish occupied the Netherlands. Now I didn't write down, I didn't look at what year this was, but this was way back in the day. But it was such a common phrase because you could imagine the Spanish being of darker skin and somebody from Holland having light skin, their offsprings would probably be darker. This was a terminology that came all the way to the America. And they said a lot of the black Dutch ended up in New York City. So when my mom says we were Dutch and we were black Dutch, I'm thinking, okay, well that could account for this coloration that I have 
over my siblings. You know, my baby sister, she can tan, but usually everybody else in the family, they don't really tan. It takes a lot for them to tan. I'm not saying you can't, you could be in the sun. The sun will burn you if you're out there long enough. I don't care what color of skin you got. The sun's pretty potent like that. Yeah, I, I'm just like, okay. So I could be carrying a trait from the Black Dutch back in the day to give me this darker skin and my dad, a darker skin that the sun just, you know, darkens us. I found another terminology for Black Dutch that I thought was interesting, and that was that Native American that were mixed, usually with white, instead of saying that they were, you know, half white, half native, they would say they were black Dutch. And that kind of protected them from being sent west with all the other natives. Also allowed them to uh, buy land. And you know, if you could buy land, you were kind of considered pretty well off if you could own your own land. So for Native Americans, they would use that terminology, Black Dutch, to accomplish these things. Now, you know, you have to really think about it. Here was a nation of people that didn't want to go west. They wanted to stay in their land. And so they would lie about who they were or what they were in order to achieve that. So that, that gets me thinking too, you know, you have stories in your family tree about different things. And we do have a story in our family tree that, you know, we have Native American blood in our line. So far, I haven't seen it. I haven't been able to connect with that. So my theory is right now, the only thing I can prove is the Black Dutch from Spanish offsprings that may give me this kind of a, some people say it's an olive color, uh, I don't know. But I do know that compared to my siblings, I'm, I'm darker. That's my hillbilly roots, you know. A lot of the Scottish people, when they came to America, they stayed in the Appalachian Mountains because it reminded them of home. And from that, that is where the hillbilly uh, generation comes from, is the Scottish people in the Appalachians. Because I'm Scottish, I think gives me that little edge that I can say that I'm hillbilly, you know. I'm not stupid though, like the town people think I am. Sometimes I get those golden moments, but that's just being old. Come on, let's face it. Oh. But yes, I just kind of wanted to kind of clarify my hillbilly root. Because I have that little darkness to me, a lot of people misinterpret what I am. So I just wanted to kind of put that out there. If somebody's wondering, if, you, if you're trying to figure out sometimes what I say, just remember it's just the hillbilly in me and you have to try to really listen to what I'm talking about that if I say a word that doesn't seem kosher, I guess, <laughs> you know, as they would, may say. So I'm going to end this. If you like my little video, give me a thumbs up. And if you really want to see some more videos like this, then subscribe and hit the notification button. I'll see you later, alligator. Bye.